Hello, no one, and welcome back to Fallout. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ! Fucking dust devil right in my face. Okay, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, we went to Prim and liberated the entire place from the Powder Gangers that had holed themselves up in there, and unfortunately had had saved Deputy Beagle along the way. Actually, hold on. What time is it? Oh, it's 5:46. Never mind. I was gonna sleep till morning, or at least till daylight, but, um, it's already here. So, today's current plan is that we will be heading to the NCR Correctional Facility to get one Mr. Myers to consider the, uh, position of Sheriff in Prim. Because, well, Deputy Beagle is about as useless as my brain is at creating happy chemicals, which, um, honestly, I don't even know if it exists. Which is probably how the entire town feels about Deputy Beagle, so, uh, we should probably get on to doing that. I oh, am. Yeah. Hated there. Well, I'm about to be hated even more by them, so what do I care? I mean, the real main question is just like, who is this Mr. Myers guy? Hello, what is that? A radio station? It's either a radio station or like a um electrical grid area. I'm not entirely sure what they're actually called, but that sort of thing. Anyways, like I was saying, I think it just all sort of depends on who this Mr. Myers guy is, because if he I mean, he's apparently got experience as a sheriff, because that's just something you have. Fuck off, game. Um, but if he is a prisoner, I'm not entirely sure how much I trust the guy. I mean, it would depend on why he is a prisoner. Because if it's just a thing of, like, he was a guard or a captain at the correctional facility and just got captured and is currently being held prisoner there by the powder gangers, then that makes sense. But, um... I guess we'll just find out eventually. Uh, I believe that is that coming from over the hill. Oh, blow fly. But I don't think. Actually, wait, hold on. Where the fuck was that blow fly? No longer exists. Oh. Okay. Okay, just sort of trying to sneak up on the sky. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, why are you doing such stupid. Well then, I wasn't expecting that to actually work out, but it did. Uh, where's Sunset Sasperla? That'll help out a bit. Fuck off, music. Uh, hello, who's this? A Crimson Caravan Guard. Ah, that would be where Ringo's from. I'll take the energy cells and the conductor and today's physician. I would imagine that has something to do with something. Uh, medicine plus ten. Is that actually a skill? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. I guess. Oh, hey. No, stop. Stop moving. I know you're not. How did I even manage that one? I. I'm not going to question these things. Oh, coyote. That's not really. I, I'm look. I'm I'm used to everything in this game being a massive fucking threat. All right. So when I see even something slightly moving, I get a bit scared. All right. All right. What are we? What the fuck? A mutt fruit. Okay. Uh, some cram. Pinion nuts. A box that's going fucking crazy. A doctor's bag. I will take that. I'll take all that. I guess. Uh, yep. All right. Oh, hello. Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Come on. Die already. Just, thank you. That helmet better be in good fucking condition when I get it. Uh, I'll take that and that. Uh, yep, and that and that and that and uh. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Alright, alright. I think I saw one more up on the ridge there, but I want to try getting the uh. Motorcycle helmet because that really fucking helped him survive. I should probably heal up. Yep, I'm still sensing danger. I want to say they're like somewhere around the back of that rock. A lot of things are going in their caution now. I really need to heal up. Okay, uh, just take a step back, expired. Purified water, sunset test, bro. Trust this. 
laser rifle. Are you fucking serious? I can't wear the glasses and the helmet at the same time. I can at least wear that so I'll fucking take it, but fuck off, game. Ah, uh, there they are. Hello, was that, a, was that a leaning thing that I just did, or... Is that the game being weird? Probably the game just being weird. I think that is a leaning thing that I'm doing. I'm not 100% sure. Where the hell are you going? No, I'm not going to question it. I'll just take the freedom from the fight and just go. Now, I would imagine that since it is a correctional facility, that this place would probably be pretty well armed. Um, doesn't look like it has much in terms of fencing around it, but uh, that could also just be the draw distance coming into play. I'm probably going to be using that for a while, since I don't really have anything to repair it, as well as the fact that I don't have the uh, skill and the weapons, so... I would imagine there would be fencing in between the uh, guard towers there. There's at least fencing there. Oh, more battle gangers. Alright. Oh, hello, a wild dog. Hmm. Hopefully they don't become a yeah, problem here. Fuck. 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 Who's that coming over the ridge? It's it, it's a guy I can't fucking hit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, you got a melee we Oh, shit. The fucking... I was far away from that. No, no. Don't try to turn away. I want to see what the fuck is wrong with your face. I... Huh. I don't... Hmm. <laughs> I, I don't. I just don't. <laughs> Alright, what's in this... <laughs> fucking... I just need to do something real quick. Motherfucking pieces of shit. I swear to fuck. Fuck off, Bob. Motherfucking pieces of shit. They'll blow me up with a mine. No more fucking mines, yeah? No more? Now, some of the fellows farther north are trying to organize. They're starting to think that it's a good idea. Got to pull resources if we're going to survive out here. I'm sure you've noticed a decline in travelers if they're getting wise, so should we. Yeah, fuck you too, you bastard. A butter knife. Oh boy. Who am I stealing from? The powder gangers? Why the fuck should I give a shit about them? They tried to kill me. They nearly did with those two fucking mines. Is that a mine? That might be a mine. Are you a mine? Seems like it. Oh, hello, radiation from that. Are you fucking kidding me? They were camping out next to a radiation barrel. What the fuck? Okay, uh, one thing I'm gonna do real quick is just quick save. I think I might be able to, uh. I see. That one didn't break apart. Neither did that one. So do I have two mines? Yes. Two powder charges. Nice. I don't know if there's a way that I can just like fully heal without having to eat like 50,000 things. I would presume that would be like sleeping or something. That's ahead. Okay. I thought that was another bomb. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So. so obviously there's this fence. It's got the wide open fucking hole there. And yes, it does have a giant fuck-off wall encasing the entire thing. Ah, <sighs> okay. Doesn't seem like there's anybody in the guard towers, but that could just be a draw distance thing. Which really fucking sucks. Because that is all the way up, I believe. Man, I can't wait for my computer to explode with all of these settings turned all the way up. I oh, know, it's completely fine. Okay. Um, let's probably take out that dog first. I don't want to. But I know it's probably going to try to fuck me up regardless, because, um, well, it's automatically a danger, so. Are you fucking serious? Really? Why couldn't you do that on the first two attempts? I can't tell if that's his face when he's getting torn apart, or if that's his face when he's having a very good time. I don't know, I'm sure some people are into that. Okay. 
Slowly but surely. You really couldn't have loaded those things in a little bit more? Farther away? That's a bit concerning, really. I don't know if anybody's in this thing, but I wouldn't be surprised. Although if there were, they probably would have detected me already, because I don't think my stealth is that high. And the scouts in there. Nobody in here. Okay then. Uh, this is probably a very stupid thing, but I'm going to sleep just for an hour. That does fully heal me. Oh, thank fuck. That is good to know. Okay, that is not a good thing to see. I should not have slept at all. I just wanted a nap. It's like that one guy. He's kind of stuck on the inside of the fence. So we can't follow the uh, pathing of the other guys. Huh. Well, sucks for him. I'm going to wait for them to get, I'm going to say, over the top of that hill. And then I'm going to go kill that guy, because he's probably just... Hmm. I'm sure that at some point they would have something that would have them, like, break off. But I'm not entirely sure. Oh! Okay, well, you had to turn around at the complete wrong time. Wearing a hockey mask. Oh, as fucking it- oh, fuck off. Yeah, fuck you too. That's so fucking annoying. Alright, uh, yeah, those guys seem to be completely gone. It's just a barrel. Ah, there is a guy up there. Oh, hello. They're too in that direction, can't see anyone on those guard towers, but I'm sure they're just on the other side of the building. Probably taking over one of the guard towers and just sort of defending from there would be the smartest idea, but I also don't like the idea of just holding myself up. I don't know if there's just going to be like a random portion of the fence that's sort of like opened up that I can call through. I might just have to go to that side, which would fucking suck. Okay, one guy there, one guy there. Just under 200 XP from leveling up. Because I believe it's every other level that you can get a new perk. But I don't know if there would exactly be one that would help me out in this situation. There's a guard on every single other tower, so I'm assuming there's just going to be one up there. Caution from something. It's not from that guy, he's still standing still. Nobody down here, I don't think. Ah, it's that guy. He was just now seeing me. Okay. Don't tell me. He's going away from me. We're just causing him to go into caution. Because he's an idiot. Is, is this really how this is going to go down? I'm going to go around. I'm going to see if there's any place that isn't... I don't know when the last time I quick save was. It was when I was coming over here. Okay. I'm not gonna fucking take that shit, alright? Just fuck off. Why in all fucking places would there be a random mine there? Like, really. I can understand around the camps. I can understand, like, in small segments of fence, like, there, in order to make sure nobody fucking goes there. But, like, here? Of all fucking places? Are you serious? What fucking sense does that make? I really hope... That I don't get detected by that guy. So I don't really have any cover out here. Come on, there we go. I also am not sure where the guys that went up this mountain went. Other than over it, but I'm sure they've gone by now. No, they are not. I am going to take them out. I don't have that much ammo. Hmm. Never mind. So head count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, eleven, twelve. Jesus Christ, this place is crawling with powder gangers, okay. How 
do I go about doing this? Obviously, there's that gate there. I don't know. If there's gonna... That looks like it might be a hole that I can get through. Uh, it also looks like there's one there and there. Okay, it seems way too fucking consistent for it to be just a random hole. It's probably just a barbed wire not loading for some reason. It's the only real option that I've got other than just trying to make it to that fucking gate. Because that's obviously where he is. Oh, hello. More patter gangers over there. I'm going to... Not leave them be. Instead, I'm going to confront them, game. Hello? G game? Stick with me, buddy. This has never happened before. Um... We'll be right back after these short messages. Oh! Okay. Um... What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down the settings just a little bit. Object will turn down a bit. Shadow will turn down. Light turn down a little. Specularity, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I'll turn that down a little and turn that down a little. So hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Didn't seem like we're smelling, so... Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm hearing gunshots coming right in my direction, I'm not gonna just be there like, hmm, what is that? I'm gonna be like, hey, the fuck? Like, I... Okay, uh, looks like they had their own little encampment here. Uh, campfire, I can bake shit here, yes? No. Okay, lights have now turned on in the entire facility. I don't know if it's a thing of, like, if I go in them, that would cause alarms to go off. But, um, I'm going to try to avoid them all the same. What the fuck? Oh, is that just a scorpion? Yes, okay. You know, I'm gonna leave it be. Uh, <laughs> I think that's some sort of mating ritual, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there so we can continue on with uh, the ecosystem and whatnot. Now, it was about here when I saw the holes. How are they? Presumably, they got shot because they were in the spotlight. So how the fuck are they already a skeleton? Like, I, hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a hole. So I've been fucking lied to. It really does seem like the uh, gate up at the front is literally the only fucking way into this place. That, that's not going to be a fun time. I'm thinking that maybe I can just sort of shoot the guy that's on the ground and hopefully get there get inside fast enough to the point where I'm not going to get shot up too much, but I also don't know where in the hell that's going to leave. What the fuck is that? A uh, train car. Okay. I'm guessing that there might be some sort of underground part of this entire place. I don't think these buildings are anywhere near big enough for it to really make sense, but then again, they might have to do that just to be like fucking storage or something. I don't know. Don't you fucking dare see me. I don't exist. Just a fallacy. Well, I do have to say, having the spotlights being turned on makes this a little bit easier. Because I'm presuming that's just sort of a thing of, like, that's where they would only be able to see you. But if you're in any of the dark spots, you're pretty much invisible. Because stealth mechanics or some shit, I don't know. Obviously, there's that guy down there. 
And then the guy that's here? Yes, okay, it's just hard to see because of the light. I better be able to open that. Doesn't look like there's a button. I don't know if it's just a fucking press E on the entire thing and it opens. Didn't look like there was any other way into this place, so. I'm not sure what the range of my weapons are, but I'm guessing the Magnum would probably have a little bit more compared to the uh, 9 mil. so. Here we go. Are you f my hmm. Well, he just went inside, so... Oh, danger? Ah! From the guy that I'm presuming just came back outside. And I'm now gaining my karma back. Good to know. My caution is still a thing, but it's not blinking. So I'm presuming... Well, he hasn't noticed. Kind of seems like the guys further in have. I don't know, they have... I guess it was just them doing a weird animation thing. I don't know if that guy is going to notice me when I enter this light. But I really hope that he doesn't. Didn't seem like he did. Open the gate. A little bit faster. Switch to... Instead of the revolver, because why not? Might as well use a big iron, I haven't. Uh, visitor center's key, I would take that. I would take the guard armor, mainly since I don't have any, um, any condition left in my current duster, and I don't really need the effects of it. I didn't realize that there was a disguising mechanism in this game. Okay, then. Well, then. Uh, you have equipped faction armor. Faction armor disguises you as a member of that faction. Members of that faction now consider you as a friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight, regardless of your personal faction relation with them. Any reputation changes that occur while wearing faction armor still affect your character. Security personnel, such as guards and watchdogs, will see through your disguise and alert anyone nearby. Fucking bullshit. Okay. Um. Well, still got better armor than what I did, so... I will have to take that. Still gonna have to be careful. No. I can. Good, good, okay. I can't really repair these things. That barely has anything, so I'll just drop it. Um. I don't even remember when I picked up a knife. I'll actually keep that on me just in case. But for now, let's get the hell inside. Howdy! <laughs> okay. Hello there. Hello. You Mr. Myers? Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Um... Depends! Who started you on here? I... <laughs> why, why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Mm-hmm. So he is a convict, I guess. Uh, oh, let's see, what did you do before you ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can you tell me more about what happened in the prison here? I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? I can see that. Uh, who's Cook exactly? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Hmm. Uh, is he in charge of the fighter gangers, or...? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. Hmm. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Gotcha. 
Uh, where can I find this cook? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. So I come here with word from a prim from one deputy, Beagle. And he's hoping that you'd fill up for the challenge of being the sheriff of prim. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Uh, you have a deal, because I have my own problems with the uh, justice system, so... Alright then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. I'm going to try and see what I can get out of this place. It's fucking snuck in place, I might as well see what I can get. Unless I'm not going to be able to steal anything. You looked at me at the wrong fucking time. Okay. Is this like oblivion where you pick something up? No, it's not. Uh, excuse me, I just dropped something here. I don't know how that works. Okay, um... Colon there. Doesn't seem like there's really anything worth taking here. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is nothing. Um... I'm sure as hell not going deeper into the place, so, uh... I'll be making my leave, you know, gotta gotta go see the wife and kids, you know, ball and chain and all that. That all went a lot differently than I thought it would. I Hmm. I I don't know how to feel about that one. Uh, I guess it's just the fact that the Mechanics of detection when it comes to the uh, the gunshots made it a bit more uncertain because that most definitely IRL every single motherfucker in that entire place would have been like oh hey we oh fuck we got somebody trying to break into the place because you know gunshots took out a few powder gangers it only makes sense but then I shot the first guy the guy below him didn't even fucking react despite an eyeball falling down right next to him. And then it took a shot or two for him to be like, hey, I think I'm being shot at. So. I don't know what the. What was the set leading me to? I'm. Not sure why it wants me to go to the Mojave Outpost. Because I'm not entirely sure what's there. I'm assuming Prim would just take me back to Myers and Beagle in order to get the entire thing, like, finished. But would that be, like, the, uh. The pardon? I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. Oh, really? It's not daytime still? It was an hour. God damn it. Okay. Um. Random bed for me. Oh, hey, there's the inside of this place. There's Mr. Myers. Howdy. I'm hey. a. Hey, just gonna pass the time a little. In a bed filled with two dead people. Don't ask how I spend my Saturday nights. Oh. In a bed that no longer has two dead people. Just go to 6 a.m. Ah, there we go. Sunlight. We can finally see. All right, Myers. How are you feeling? Still don't know why he wants me to go to the mob. Yeah, plus whatever. Have you gotten my pardon from the NCR yet? I'm assuming that it would... Be, what would... Yep. <laughs> Look, in my line, you gotta figure out the moments where you just gotta say fuck it and let it go. Alright, alright. Anyways, uh, where should I go to get your pardon? There's an NCR camp down there on the southern border of Nevada. Camp Mojave, I think. Try to find someone of authority there. Yeah, I had a feeling. You know, might as well see what the NCR would think. Because obviously, like, depending on how you view laws and shit, having him... He would just pretty much take the law into his own hands and wouldn't worry about, like, the actual... 
Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot I was, uh, wearing this thing. If I were to completely just take that off, I can't put the sheriff dusters up. I'm not wearing any. No, no. Stop going away from me. Fucking how? How? Point blank range, right in his fucking face. There was no way that I should have been able to miss that, and I missed every single shot. The fuck is that bullshit game? Anyways, um, I'm, I'm just considering the fact that I remember that I'm wearing this now. Um, we'll just say that they're really short shorts. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I need to get this fucking duster fixed fast. All right, it's at number two. Why do I have a glove on? I can understand a bit more, but why the fucking glove? Oh, is that... Is that something I use to control the pit boy What sense does that make? I... Hmm. Anyways. Friendly. I think so. I have no idea. Don't ask why I'm naked. I feel like I'm going to hear that line way too fucking much. Alright, uh, Lieutenant Hayes is you. Alright. Yeah. Lieutenant Hayes, um, Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Hmm, hmm. Uh, what do you need to take over protecting the count, uh, cat town? What we need more than town? anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Hmm. Okay. Sir? Hello. Hello. Uh, so we have both options of NCR or uh, Myers, which I guess... We will have to figure out next time, because I have been recording for over an hour at this point, and I generally want to keep the recording sessions to an hour, because that'll hopefully keep the videos to about 30 to 40 minutes or so. Um, I also need to find myself some clothes, so I'm I'm, I'm going to just loot the entire place. I might be able to buy some. How many caps do I have? 631. I really hope I can buy some. So yeah, while I'm doing that, I'm going to leave this video off here, and the next one we'll be heading to the Mojave Outpost. And, oh uh, yeah, the gecko's still here. Uh, you, can I take your clothes? Yes. Alright, well, I got the clothes situation figured out. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave this video off here. Uh, in the next one, we'll be heading to the Mojave Outpost to most likely put Myers in charge, because I don't really trust the NCR, so... We'll figure that out next time, though. Until then, I hope to catch you in the next video, whenever that shall be. See you.